I just lost two Frenchies, bro, in the middle of having three litters on the way. Like, how, when does that happen? It happens when you're trying to elevate. Shit like that happens when you're trying to grow. And this is what God is going to say. He said, bro, I'm going to hand you that. Now, how you going to handle that? Yo, it's your boy EJ with MBF, man. I'm out here with my girl Roxy right now. Gonna spend some one on two. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. I'm outside with my girl spending some one on one time, man. As y'all know, man. Uh, on a pregnant female, stress be like at an all time high. Like, that shit be at an all time high. So, I'm just spending a little one on one time with her, let her know shit. I'm with her, I love her, I support her. Um, when it's time to have these puppies, <laughs> if you ain't blunted with this dog, man, uh, you might have a hard time dealing with, you know, trying to get the puppies out by hand and, you know, just being able to, for her to be able to trust you that you know what's best, you know what I'm saying? And you can tell right now when I'm around, bro. This is this is what I get. I get all complete cooperation. Um, see. Uh, ain't no ain't no colostrum coming out. Okay. That's what's going on, y'all. Uh, I don't see no colostrum or no milk coming out, man. You know, we got another week and a half for she uh for she pop, y'all. But so far so good. So far so good. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, girl. Hey, my little rocket. Hey. Like I said, man, you ain't burning with your dogs at this point. You can't grab their face. You can't do what you need to do from them. And without getting bit, then um you didn't you didn't went too far man you got too deep into this shit you need to retract and start over man all right y'all so this is what we gonna do person that gets the right amount of puppies gonna get a hundred dollar cash out i just kind of want to do some fun for the people that's been supporting me man so a hundred dollar cash out for the person that gets the right amount of puppies man how many you think she gonna have y'all so big girl how many you think she gonna have leave it in the comment section What's going on, Pop? Hey, hey, yo, hey, hey. What's going on, Mom? What's going on? Call you on a killer, man. This girl, a beast, bro. Real serious, you know what I'm saying? Real serious blood right here, man. Y'all know what's going on. If y'all know what's going on, you gonna find out. So they gonna find out. They gonna find out. Look at that, bro. They gonna find out. They gonna find out real soon. Look at that. They don't got no dogs like this. Nobody has dogs like I got. You think they do? I'm telling you in person, this shit different. I can't lie, bro. The longer this girl, <laughs> the longer we get to the day of like the other ones being due, she's looking bigger. Wait, right. hey, Katana. All right, this is a good pregnant, y'all. What y'all think? <laughs> She said, hell yeah, she was pregnant. <laughs> yeah. All right, Katana is no longer for sale right now, man. Damn. You staying with me, girl. Tell me how this successful with her. Get you back in shape. And we'll get back to the point of thinking about selling you later, all right? You survive NBL count. Another season. You survive another season, man. Right now we in season two, man. Um, Every year that we're doing the breeding, it's a different season. So right now, last year, 2020, uh, what was it, 2022, 
that was season one. 2021 and 2020 was just buying dogs and shit like that. But now it's 2023 going to 2024. We at season two. So season two, Katana survived season two. Um, Roxy survived season two. Hazel survived season two. Will Jr., Will Zoo survive season two? I'm not sure just yet. Uh, I'm just not sure just yet if they're gonna survive this season. But right now, this is the survivors of season two, man. Um, shout out to everybody that's been that's been tapped in with me. And staying, staying. Come here. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> so everybody's been tapped in with me, man. Staying up to date on everything, man. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. She looking, she's bigger, she's the biggest she's ever been, but she's the oldest uh, that she's ever been as well, man. So, as far as uh, saying that's just what she look like, you know, I just, I don't know. Do y'all think she pregnant? I mean, she look pregnant to me, I don't know. Do she look like the other girls? No, she don't. She don't like the other girls, man. They look, they look out bigger, but they just could say, you know, she might just be having a smaller litter. Or she can just be holding. I don't know. I don't know, man. But she definitely look pregnant to me. Man. Just, uh, she looking wide. Her ribs is, is wide. She's starting, I'm starting to see a little hump in the back. You know? She, uh, she looking pregnant to me, man. Y'all know it's starting to be summertime. Around summertime, it's starting to get real hot outside. Um, real humid, bunch of flies and shit. So most of the time we're gonna do our hanging out, it's gonna be at nighttime, man. Daytime is gonna be used for rest um, with minimum exercise, especially for the one, for the females. Right now the females, I don't let them do too much, but uh, that's just definitely what's going on, man. Right now the boys in the backyard, you know, running around, you know, being boys and stuff like that. I'm gonna put them back up too. I'm just letting them blow off some steam and you know do what they do for a little bit. People can ask me, what litter am I most excited about? What litter am I most excited about? I am most excited about my production having a production. What am I, um, what would be the biggest reward for me? Um, the biggest reward as far as expectations, as far as size, head, structure, bone, this Katana litter, it's gonna be a little different, bro. Like, if Katana's pregnant, those puppies are gonna start out at a different price than the other ones. Cause they're just, this different, but her daddy, Stub care was 15,000, bro. Like, that's 15,000 worth of sperm. You know, and she's one of, she's a 15, I'm not gonna say she's a $15,000 dog, but she's a $10,000 dog for sure. You just look at her coat, look how clean her coat is. Like, look how I cleared up the coat. Like, look at it, look what I did, bro. Like, I cleared it up, all them spots that she used to see and all that. That's clear, and bro, she just a year and a half. Like, she got, she got so much growing to do still. Like, this girl just a year and a half. And look how I cleared that coat up. The girl looking like a rock wall. The girls, look at it. Just look how clean she is, bro. I really put in that time and energy, bro. Real effort, real research. You know, figured it out. Look at the coat. Oh my gosh, she looking so good, y'all. And so soft. Hey, baby. That's all she be wanting, y'all. That's all she be wanting, she's a little rubbing, man. You know. Yeah, we finna have 30 litters, y'all. All in a few weeks. Next week, we having Hazel. Week after that, Roxy should be jump, dropping. And then week after that, she should be dropping. So she should drop in three weeks. She got three more weeks of growing to do. And um, she gonna be pretty big, y'all. Look how big she is now. Like, th that's a puppy in there, man. Yeah, y'all can feel it kicking, man. There's puppies in there, man. This a belly full of puppies, y'all. Oh, my God. Ooh, finna get busy, but that's what we asked for. That's what we asked for.
You know, I was talking to God the other day. I said, God, I said, God, I want more. I said, God, give me more. He said, hey, careful what you ask for. I said, this shit ain't hard enough for me. I said, I'm working. I get up every day and I have downtown, God. I said, I don't want no downtown, God. I don't want no downtown. I, I, I ain't busy enough, God. I started, I started unhooking my PS4 and shit. Like, started pacing back and forth. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I need more. I want more. I want more money. I want more success. I want, I want more. I want a bigger house. I want more cars. I want more freedom. I want more. And I got three litters on the way around the same time. And on the back end, I'm complaining like, damn, bro. That's going to be too much work. This is what I've been telling y'all, man. Listen. Find something you got to do. Go hard at it. Everything that you want in this life, if you really want it, God going to make sure it's hard to get. If you really want a lot of money, you want a lot of success, it's going to be harder. Life going to be harder, bro. I just lost two Frenchies, bro, in the middle of having three litters on the way. Like, how, when does that happen? It happens when you're trying to elevate. Shit like that happens when you're trying to grow. And this is what God is going to say. He said, bro, I'm going to hand you that. Now, how you going to handle that? These dogs, all these girls can have litters and all of them die. The girls can die with them. Everybody could die. All these girls could die. The litters could die. All this shit, bro. And God going to be like, all right, so what you going to do now? You going to man up, handle your business? Or you, or you gonna sit around like a, like, 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 yeah. You gonna sit around like that, yeah. You gonna, you gonna make some shit shake. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna make some shit shake. I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm gonna keep doing these videos. I'm gonna keep looking for better dogs. I'm gonna keep looking for better shit. I'm gonna keep banning my program, man. This shit is, I'm on a 10 year plan right now, y'all. And I'm at season two. I've learned about so much different shit. Regulations. I've learned about so much different shit. I learned about what dogs to pull with what dogs. What dogs not to pull with other dogs. Um, um, separation. When to separate dogs? Never put these two dogs together. When dogs, in, when dogs in heat, or when dogs, when dogs are pregnant, don't ever have this girl around this girl. Don't have two girls around. Like everything I've been learning through trial and error, bro, through mistakes, through so many fucking trial and error. And I'm telling y'all, bro, the brink of success is is at the tip of failure. The brink of success is when you're on the edge. Like, damn, that's all I got. This it. And then, boom, success gonna hit you. But if you if you have the Tim effect and you stop, ooh, and you walk back some, success is gonna be like this. Come on, bro, come on, please. Bro, just keep coming, bro, keep going. Success is gonna grab you. It's gonna grab you and hold on to you, bro. And then you're gonna be like, damn, I'm here now. And then they start looking back. But if you get to that edge and shit just get too scared, and you take a step back, success is gonna be down there screaming, bro. And you gotta go back to being comfortable, bro, because I am so uncomfortable, bro. I ain't never been this uncomfortable in my life, bro. I've never been this uncomfortable in my life. Never, bro. Never, bro. And that's what I know. It's time for it's time for more. It's time for development. It's time for growth. It's finna hit so hard and so soon. This shit with these litters, this shit ain't finna be easy at all. Puppies gonna die. Guess what happens? You have a lot of puppies. Some of them don't make it. I gotta hand, I gotta deal with that. Um, sleepless nights. My daughter's finna be crying. I'm finna be out there running there with the puppies. I'm gonna take care of my kids. Do this, do that, do it's gonna be so fucking difficult. But I am ready for every single task. I am ready for every single task, bro. I am not shying away from this shit, bro. I ain't shying away from this shit it's gonna be hard as fuck. But that's what I want. I don't want nothing easy, bro. Now when y'all see me in that big old house, that big old stupid house on that big big ass ranch, all that land, you're gonna be like, bro, kept going. Bro kept going. And everybody, that everybody fuck with me, invest with me, take our time to watch my videos, hit the like button. I fuck with y'all, man. And I'm taking y'all with me, bro. Shit finna be so big, bro. This is what I'm gonna do, y'all. I'm gonna get a big ass ranch, bro, with so much land. I'm gonna put a nice ass facility on that bitch where people that fuck with me and people I fuck with can come whip their dogs on that bitch, can come train their dogs on the land. That shit gonna be open. Open training facilities, open weapon facilities, bro. Like, membership. I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna get membership. You can sign up to be a part of the NBL program and you're gonna be part of the mentorship. The mentorship, the membership is gonna grant you access to everything I have. All the land, all the dogs, all the supplies. You know what I'm saying? I got a plan, bro. It's gonna be so beautiful. And listen to what I'm saying. I'm putting this shit in the universe. And, and I, not, I, not only am I putting it in the universe, speaking it, I'm working my ass off towards it. I'm working my ass off towards it. And you guys gonna see, bro. You're going to see. You're going to see the development, bro. You can see. 
you go back and watch where I came from and see how I do it now, bro. I'm getting better and better and better at this shit, bro. I am getting better and better and better at this shit, bro. D3 let us bump and walk through this shit so motherfucking, whew, so motherfucking gracefully. And y'all gonna be like, yeah, that nigga said he was, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, he, uh -huh. yeah, bro, that's what goes on. Bro, like I got said right now, my side, spend time with my girl. Hey, mama. Hey, hey, mama. I right, spend time with my girl, man. This is what we want, man. This is what we want. We want your dogs better to come up to you. We want your dogs to love you, be super friendly with you, to trust you. We got a lot of work to do, man. We got a lot of work to do, man. We got a lot of work to do, man. These puppies on the way, man. These puppies on the way, man. I ain't, I ain't nothing I can do to slow it down. If I ain't ready, ain't nothing I can I can't tell the puppy, hey, 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 don't, hey, don't have them yet. Hey, hey, don't have them yet. Hey, hey, chill, 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 chill. Don't have them yet. I got to be ready, man. 100% ready, man. Are y'all ready? Ready for this? Hmm? Did you ready for this? Hmm? Did you ready for this? Huh? Hmm? Did you ready for this? Did you ready for this? Alright, man. Alright, man. We're gonna have fun, alright? We're gonna make sure you enjoy this. We're gonna listen to some great music. You know, we're gonna put on that NBL playlist. If you ain't listening to my music, what the hell is you doing, man? You ain't listening to my music. What the hell is you doing? I don't care if you like it or not. Turn that shit on because it's real, dog. A lot of niggas can tell better stories than me. I can't tell stories that I ain't been a part of. So a lot of people can rap better than me because they they're better storytellers. But I'm telling the truth. It's different. Like, comment, subscribe. Go subscribe to the other channel, EJNBO, for the run that bitch up. Watch. By the, end, by the end of the, by the summertime, my other channel gonna have 100K subscribers too, watch. Two channels, 100K subscribers. This channel gonna have about 300K, 400K, probably half a million. This channel gonna have a half a million through the summer. I know what to do, I figured it out.